Suze B and I'm joined by DLB. DLB, welcome to Australia. What is your favorite thing about being over here? You know what? I like the people. I know that's like really like oh, typical to say, but honestly, the people here are just so happy. I don't know. It's it's different here. Down under, everyone is very happy. I feel like health is like a big priority down here, which is a lot different than like different parts of the United States. But I think generally when people are more healthy, they're happier. So we have a group, a huge crowd of happy, awesome people. You guys are freaking happy and I love it. I love happy people. And you pretty much are the face of women's physique, right? What do you attribute to your success? Because your cue has not died down, like it is round the block. Tell us a little bit about your success and what fans expect to see from you. Um, they expect to see a lot of weird faces <laughs> because that's what I do. What's your favorite one? Um, it's more of like, I call it the, the snarl. A lot of people call it the duck, but the duck face, but I don't see duck. Like a duck bill is very like, like that. <laughs> that would be a duck, oh, that's a duck face. That's like the snarl face. I do a lot of like, like just weird, I don't know. I like to keep it fun. And a, a lot of that came with success. Like from the very beginning, like I'm weird, I'm goofy. I, I wear baggy clothes and backwards hats and I look like a 12 year old boy with a cute haircut. Like that's who I am and I never strayed away from that. And I think people just realize like you don't need to play this this whole like sexy appeal like if it's not you it's not you like it works for some people sexy and DLB like kind of like don't really ma mix I'm not saying I'm not but I'm just <laughs> I'm a different kind of sexy <laughs> like a really awkward weird sexy <laughs> so you've been training for American Ninja Warrior and you, you took part in that do you have plans to do it again because how cool is that man it was really really cool really cool experience and with me, I love like testing my body in different ways. Like, obviously, with bodybuilding, it's such a huge, te different kind of test. It tests your like your willpower and just dedication in general. Like, it's a 24-hour-a-day job. And then like changing all the roles and like trying to train a completely different way, which was all body weight stuff. Like, I generally almost for about a month, I wasn't really weight training at all. It was very, very light. It was mostly all. Um, different obstacle training. I would do obstacle training every other day and then light weights because you don't really want to have, I was probably the biggest person on the show, believe it or not, even with the boys. Because wow. they're all like, on, on TV it's very deceiving, but like the, they were all very tiny. Like you don't want to have a whole lot of weight, just muscle density because you're like hanging from stuff. But it was really cool just to train that way. Um, I don't think I'm doing it this year because there was, I'm not really good with uh, keeping track of sending things in on time. And uh, you have to send in a video and I completely forgot. But there's always next year, so I'll make a comeback next year maybe. Try to get Rob to do it. He'll look insane. He'll look like a monster going through that thing. Now controversially last year you weren't competing at the Olympia and I was there. I really wanted to see that. Is there any plans to jump in there, like maybe this year, next year, or anything? Like, if, if the form's in on time? Uh, <laughs> you know what? I, I'm not good with forms. <laughs> I'm just really not. Uh, you know, be, you don't need a form. I, yeah, just, I sign up when I want to. <laughs> now, um, right now, I have no idea what the plans are. For me, competing has to like make sense with like our schedule right now. Just every time, we get a little free time, we start a new business. So like we started our own supplement company. Um, when, while I wasn't competing, I had that extra time. So I don't know, competing takes me away from work sometimes. Not that I'm not working, but you're so concentrated on getting on stage. It's like eat, 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 train, eat, eat, sleep. And it's just like this revolving cycle. And I, I'm just not as productive as, as I usually am. And we have 30 employees. So like for me to do a show, it's almost a little selfish because it's a passion. And I'm taking a passion and I'm taking more time for that than I should be with all these other things going on. So it really, really has to make sense. 
um, for everybody. So not just me, it needs to make sense for Rob, it needs to make sense for our, our team, it needs to make sense for our employees that I can kind of step back and concentrate on that a little bit more. But uh, don't count me out, don't count me out. Um, I love this stage, I love everything about it. But th when the time is right, I'll be back. And you know what, this little break will make it a little bit more spicier. Like if you compete year after year after year, it's like, okay, they're going to compete again because like, why wouldn't you compete at the Olympia? So to not compete, it's like, ah, oh, I don't know. It, it makes people more excited maybe when I come back. I don't know. Speaking of coming back, you're going to come back to Australia very soon, right? Oh Promise? my God, yes. So the plan is, so we're actually doing a little mini tour. It was actually supposed to be a two-week tour doing store appearances for Run Everything Labs and then in between we would have buffer days to go explore because I really haven't been exploring down under yet. Um, so things got a little weird and Rob's not here so we actually shortened the tour and it's only four days of just straight chaos. Uh, but we do have plans to hopefully come back and actually do some fun stuff while we're here <laughs> and meet people along the way. So. Yes, definitely. We would love to come back. I love Australia. I love you guys. So happy here. So I want to come down and be with happy people. Oh, we wanted to thank you for chatting to us. And if you could leave us, please, with your favorite weird fist that you like pulling, just, just, just for us. Oh, this is one. Bye, guys.